Oh, lovely. <laughs> Currently borrowing Coda's table and chairs to film this little clip. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to a brand new video. We are day... What was that? We are currently a matter of, well, a couple of days away from leaving the UK again and heading out on this epic trip to the Philippines with my dad and stepmom. Cannot wait, we're getting there a little bit early just to get used to the time difference and stuff. I can't believe we're about to leave the UK again, it's just crazy, it feels like we just got back. Dakota's is having his lunch behind me here, you can see his little head. You may think, why do I sound like I'm holding my nose, but I'm not. Everyone in the UK is ill right now, basically. This is like the weird after Christmas few months where it's cold, not much is going on, and everyone gets ill. Oh, so I've had a bit that. cold water. I've had a bit of a cold this last week. Yeah. We've just been feeling a bit like run down. Whoa. We've not been prioritizing our health that much. Whoa. Good roaring. Whoa. We've been so busy with work stuff, like crazily busy. Whoa. We just need this trip basically. We're so excited to be in some sunshine, to be doing what we love and to be like enjoying the island life again. Yes, yeah, so this, this trip is coming at the right time basically and I really, really can't wait. We've got some more packing to do today and get the final bit sorted. I've already packed most of my stuff. I've packed a lot of Coda stuff. George hasn't started packing yet, classic. But today we actually had a really big reset and I think it's what we needed because it's, <laughs> it's felt like we've had a lot go wrong in our lives recently and not to be negative too much because we've, we're so grateful for everything. Hi vlog. But it's felt like a lot's gone wrong. Like we've had a flat tire, we've had a, Breakdown. We've had. Oh my god, man! Yeah. Our dishwasher broke. Our washing machine broke. What else? My phone's creep. Oh, my phone smashed twice, so I've had to buy a new phone oh twice. Everything you can um, imagine going wrong went wrong. However, it's been crazy. It's nothing that mm, bad or dramatic. You want the muffins? Yeah. Nothing crazy. It's just like all happened at once. So it's been a bit crazy, but it's all good. We're coming out the other right end of it. I actually managed to fix the dishwasher myself somehow. I don't know how I've become a plumber. We woke up this morning. We got all of Coda's birthday decorations down from the lounge. We packed Thea's all of his- birthday. It's Thea's birthday today, isn't it? It's on my niece's birthday today. She's eight. Happy birthday, Thea. Um, Happy birthday to me all Did you just say you don't know how you fix the dishwasher? No, I said, yeah, I don't know how I fix it. I know how you fixed it. What? With sellotape. With tape, yeah. I'm, Mommy, I'm really good at fixing there was, things. There was a tiny... Mommy, Mummy fixed it, yeah. There was a tiny hole in the back of our Mommy. dishwasher. I fixed it with tape. And it was triggering the anti-flood system because water was splashing in this hole. Lucy just gets like this tape. hardcore it. tape. But I also did other Taped things. It like the, the, It wasn't working with the tape. Right. But, but yeah, the so tape definitely helped. Tape. It's all good. So if anyone needs appliance repair, Lucy will come around with a tape. Yeah. Patch it up for you. It's fine, I've got this. Good as new. Um, yeah, so basically, we're looking up, like things are going up. We yeah. had a bit of a weird time. Yeah. We're now. I did the Alan. Coda Alan. And we're it just now in like full excitement mode. I'm just holding up a spirulina and banana muffin for you. Huh, is it nice? Mm -hmm. Who made that? Mm -hmm. Who made that? Mummy mm -hmm. made it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, super excited for these next series of travel vlogs coming very soon. But yeah, today's basically a reset. I need to go to Tesco's later. Uh, do you want to come to Tesco's with me? Huh? Okay. And I need I'm to buy... Worried. Now in the... You want raspberries? Yeah. Where do we get raspberries from? Get go. Tesco's. And how do we get the raspberries? What do we do? Mm. We buy it? Yeah. What do we do? I buy it. We buy it with money. Money. <laughs> money. Money. Yeah. Um. Money, money, dog. My ball. My ball. What is it? Going to be a character <laughs> in these next vlogs. Whoa. <laughs> What People don't even want to see him anyway. They never even want to see us, I That's swear. That's so true. Um, anyway, for, enough of me talking to you bunged up. Yeah, the house is reset. I made... That's so loud. I made um, Coda loads of food for the week. Um, yeah, we've reset the whole lounge. We're all feeling good again. The cold's on its way out. We're going to finish off our packing. And then we are good to go for Project Philippines. Our second trip of 2024, so super exciting. We are also gonna be trying something out cool in a minute on the vlog to show you guys a product. I'm not gonna say any more, but it's George's idea. I think it's a bit crazy, but watch this space very, very soon. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh 
Oh no! And the flower fell off! Oh, the flower fell off? Who's it for? Mummy! Oh, thank you, Mommy. darling. I love it. Thank you. In there. In there? What on earth is happening with the weather? Dark. It's, four, it's nearly 4 pm, but it's dark. It's half past three. So yes, we are about to head out. Look at this beautiful house. I'm gonna, I know it's my own house, but I'm gonna say it because we have just departed from Coda's birthday party. We had balloons everywhere. Some of you might have seen the vlog. We had like the table was all in a different place. We had blow up dinosaurs who had moved in with us and we left it that way for a week because we've been super busy. But yes, this morning we had a nice big clear out reset and the house is feeling good. I've just been loading the car. We're gonna go for one of our walks, something we love to do on the weekends. Don't think it's gonna rain. And I've just been loading the car because yes, yeah, something really cool, something I'm really excited about actually, I'll show you in a minute. And something that kind of ties in with plans for later in the year, which I'm sure we can reveal to you as well. We can share that with you as well. We have Coda's music on in the car journeys these days. So we've had, he's obsessed with a film called Sing 2 at the moment. No, he's not. He's obsessed with one song from the film. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> yeah, that is so true. And he calls it the monkey song because a monkey Johnny. in, John, is it Johnny? Johnny the monkey. I haven't seen the film. What does Johnny say? Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, this monkey plays piano and sings this song. It's a Coldplay song, so that is going round and round my head. Anyway, we've come out for a coffee, but not in the usual way, guys, that you have seen us come for a coffee. Does this look like a coffee shop to you? No, it does not. Although the camera's a little bit too bright. Now, this is where we like to come for some countryside walks in the UK. However, can't wait to do this. We're gonna make a coffee. And I know what you're thinking, how on earth are you gonna make a coffee, George? Well, let me introduce you to my new toy and the sponsor of today's video which is this, the Jackery Explorer 1000 Pro. So guys, as I mentioned, later on this year, Lucy and I have some interesting travel plans which involve more of the UK. We've realized that we're kind of neglecting what is on our doorstep. So we've got beautiful places in Scotland, in the Midlands, down in Cornwall. There's some really, really stunning places in the UK. And Lucy and I have had the idea to explore our own country a little bit more because for the last five or six years, we've been traveling every single year, so many other different countries except for our own. So that is where this is gonna come in very, very handy. So are you ready for a coffee from George's new coffee shop? George's coffee van? Yes. I am very ready. Um, you might be thinking, why are you doing that? You could have just made a coffee at home and taken it out for a walk like we normally would. Way less fun. Way less fun, but also basically today is a little bit of a trial run because there's gonna be some situations in the future, so very soon, hopefully, if plans go to plan, where we're gonna need coffee in our boot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let George explain. Yeah. So we really want to do kind of like a series of videos where we go off and travel the UK a little bit, whether we get a van, do a little bit of van life, whether we use something like our Range Rover that we'll hopefully have looking into more cars and potentially a new Range Rover soon. But that is where something like this is going to be really, really cool. So this is a thousand watt generator. And I think the best way to demonstrate how you would use this is to make a coffee. We are due our afternoon coffee. So get the coffee going and then I'll explain a little bit more of what this thing can do. We got time on our side. So I'm gonna put my paper filter in. Then I've got 20 grams of pre-ground coffee from earlier at home. Have a look at that. We've got our filtered water. I'm gonna make a cup for Lucy and I. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. And the time that we share makes it over five. Got this place on. Do you feel that we got something strong? What? I can't go back at the time. It's a video. Is it a video? Yeah. Uh.
So talk through a little bit of what we've got on here. It's a thousand watt generator. It only takes about two hours to charge. You can charge it at home, plug it into the wall. You can charge it through your car, it takes a bit longer. And also one of the probably coolest features is that you can charge it using solar panels. So if you're out in the summer, if you're camping, if you're out on these amazing summer adventures, or not even summer, just if the sun is out and you have kind of optimum conditions, then you can use the solar panels to charge this thing as well. So you can be kind of fully self-sufficient on the road. I'm gonna get a bit technical and nerdy here because I love this kind of thing. We've got two AC power inlets. We have our 12 volt. We then have two USB A's, two USB C's. And the design of this is so slick and lovely. The quality is amazing. You've got this grab handle with the rubber here. This thing is fairly heavy, so it's like nice to be able to hold it comfortably a really cool feature. I've seen people kind of using these overlanding and going off on nighttime adventures as well. And when it's starting to get dark, we've got a light here with three different settings. Got the display here so you can see your input and your output, how much battery percentage you've got left. And then here you can see how many hours. So currently obviously nothing's plugged into it. 99.9 .9 hours remaining on each setting. Can also of course just quickly demonstrate charging my phone. So we've got a USB-C straight into the iPhone. Turn that on, phone is charging nice and easy. We could charge four phones on here potentially. You can have all of the outlets on at the same time as well, including the light. So that is really cool. And even with my phone charging, we still got 99.9 .9 hours. So just a really, really cool piece of kit. Very happy. Jacko has sent this over for us to try out. I really, really want to take it on the road. Please let me know if there's any ideas. I've got Scotland in my mind. We've never been to like rural Scotland. It looks beautiful. It's something we've never done. We really want to do it. Oh, I've also seen, I used to watch a load of people who build their own kind of motorhomes and vans and van life YouTubers. I used to be so into that. And I've seen people have these in their setup, in their vans. You can plug power tools into it. So you can be out in your van, working on your build, have electricity, have power. So there is gonna be a link in the description if you wanna check this out, along with a discount code for Juicy Vlog viewers. So make sure you use that, save yourself a bit of money if you're interested in this. I know a lot of people watching this channel are into adventure and going out and camping and being outdoors and stuff. So yeah, just a very, very cool product. Excited to have it with us. And a huge thanks again to Jackery. Okay, this coffee tastes good. Success. Next stop the shop that we need to do before we head out on the road again. I feel like, I don't know, on this lens, this is a new lens by the way, what do you think? But I feel like I'm a presenter. I know, you sound like George from 2016. Yeah, when like Lucy's pointed this new lens at me because it all looks professional, I feel like a presenter. So we need to get some things prepared before we head out back on the road. Let's go. Right. It's a lovely day, isn't it? It's a lovely day for a walk in the countryside. I used to come here as a boy, you know? But it's all changed. There were never all these cars and these buildings everywhere. No, there weren't. There was all just fields and trees. What are you doing? So because we're going to be away for UK Easter. Oh no, maybe we're just back. But just in case, <laughs> we're going to get some Easter chocolate to have tonight because we love Easter chocolate. Is it nice? I think we're going to get some mini eggs as well. Maybe just one bag or maybe the bar. What do you think is better, the bar or the bag? Oh, where is mean, the bar? Maybe I'm there's a not a bar. Kind of guy. You're both if kind of guy. There's a guy. decision to be made, and they both sound good. Just get both. <laughs> where's, where's the pen gone? Where's the pen gone? In there. Under there. Did it fall under? Oh yeah, there it is. There you go. What are you gonna draw? Okay, we are home from the shops. It's a little bit uh, hectic, busy on a Saturday evening, wasn't it? Where did we go? Tesco's. <laughs> we did go to Tesco's and Coda doesn't love sitting in the trolley at the moment. You sat here. Tesco. Yeah. Went to Tesco's. You were running around everywhere, weren't you? You were looking at the milk, the apples. Apple. Yeah, you saw an apple. You actually took a big bite out of an apple, didn't you? So we had to buy that one. I'll buy an mm. apple. Was it yummy? I bought it, I opened it. You opened it? Yeah, you did, didn't you? Open it. You opened the apple? My apple. Yeah, I know. Open it. Open what? Big apple. It was big, wasn't it? How big was it? The big. So big. The big! So big. So we're doing a little bit of playtime. Yeah. Lucy's making some food. And then I'm going off to the gym. Lucy's doing bedtime. Get Coda down. And then we'll have some more food. So I'm having like a pre-gym meal and then a post-gym meal. Where's the animals gone? Where's the animals gone? In there. In there? Yeah, have a look. Here it is. Here it is. That's it. Well done. Yeah, we had a really productive, I think Lucy open mentioned it. it. We had a really, really productive open morning. Open it. What do you say? Open it. Please. Please. Good boy. A really productive 
morning today, we tidied everything, even like Coda's toys. We sorted out all your toys, didn't we? And we took some old ones away, we brought some new ones out, we refreshed it. We actually reduced the overall number of things that are out. We just had like a, a cleanse, I suppose. It was really, really nice. I tidied the office, that was a job. That room had become a dumping ground for like boxes. Obviously like Lucy and I receive a lot of products and things like that and we have all these cardboard boxes just piling up. So we never want to throw boxes away just in case sometimes companies we work with say, oh hey, can you actually film a little bit of like an unboxing or something like that? So we tend to keep a lot of cardboard, but that was good to do. We put loads of clothes away. So I don't know what it's English. We put loads of clothes away that had been on the floor for ages, which is never good. Yeah. And we just had a big old sort out, which I think it's important to do. We'd both been feeling a bit, a little bit stressed to be honest which was not how we intended the start of 2024 to go, but that just happens sometimes. We've been very, very busy work-wise and we've got this trip coming up, so we feel like we put pressure on ourselves to do everything we want to do before going on the next trip, where we maybe shouldn't actually work that way. We should maybe just kind of let it all flow together, but I don't know, we're very driven people. Here it is, there's the cat. Yeah, nice to be vlogging today, nice to be chatting through our day. Nice little daily vlog. It's been a while since we've done a nice classic laid back daily vlog, so that's really nice. I still think when Coda's like 18 or something, watching these videos back is gonna be so cool. How young I look. So nice. What's that? It's a cat. What does a cat say? I'll let you on it on there, all right. Okay, I'm in my pajamas. George is at the gym. Coda is actually still awake, but he's getting off to sleep right now. I can see him on his little camera. His eyes are starting to go. Um, you can probably hear that sizzling. I'm cooking some steaks tonight for dinner, so I'm going to show you that in a second. But it's been a really good day. It's been a very productive day. I got loads of stuff I needed to get um, for the trip. So I'm definitely feeling a bit more on top of it now. And technically, if we were like flying tomorrow, it would all be okay and we've got everything we need. Actually, there's two things I need to get still, but I'm going to get them tomorrow and then we're all good to go. We literally leave in like three days, I think, while we're filming this. And this video, I think, is going live the day we leave or the day before we leave or the day after we leave. Like, basically, when this video goes live, the trip's here. It's happening right now. And we just can't wait. We're so excited. So please follow us on Instagram. I'll put them on the screen right now. And you can follow along with exactly where we are because the vlogs aren't the most up-to-date because Instagram is the most up-to-date place where you can see what we're up to. And so yeah, if you want to see exactly where we are, then yeah, give us a follow on Instagram. The vlogs are going to be fairly up-to-date at the start and then like depending on how many vlogs we film, they might be a bit more behind. But if you want to see exactly our at the time, definitely follow our Instagram pages. I've got these to try out. I showed you in the shop earlier. There's cream eggs. Caramel eggs. I've had both of these, but I've never tried the white chocolate one. So very excited for that. I also got, like George said, get both, the two types of mini eggs. So we're going to eat a steak and chip dinner, have some Easter chocolate, and then we're watching Trigger Point at the moment on, I think it's on ITV, but I might be wrong. I think it's ITV and it's quite good. Uh, it's not the most light-hearted thing I've ever watched, but it's quite good. So we're going to watch maybe an episode of that and then get an early night because Cola's been waking up super early and we need to get some sleep and this cold is on its way out. I think this is the last day where I feel coldy. I think tomorrow I want to wake up feeling refreshed. I'm feeling positive and I feel like things are turning around for us and I hope they are for you guys too. So thank you very much for watching. I'm going to quickly show you the steak and then I'm going to say goodbye to you guys. I'm not going to be in the kitchen for too long because it's very noisy in there, but I'll quickly show you what we've got to work with. It's looking good. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks again to Jackery for sponsoring today's video. Very much looking forward to trying that out more with um, some bigger trips we've got planned this year. And we'll see you very soon in the next juicy vlog. When we're at the airport, oh my goodness, the next vlog's at the airport. I can't wait. See you then.